many commentators and policymakers were saying that the complexity of the financial system played a key role in the crisis. So we thought that the, the network, uh, networks would be the right tool for modeling uh, this complexity in a way that we can analyze it and understand its implications. So a financial uh, network in our paper means it me is meant to capture the interaction between different banks. So more specifically, every vertex in the network is meant to be uh, a financial institution or a bank, and an edge between two vertex or two banks meant, is meant to capture the financial obligations between those banks. If, if one of these banks run into a trouble, cannot pay its uh, counterparties, and, and basically defaults on its obligations, then the, counter, the counterparty may not have enough funding to meet its own obligations, and then basically leads to these domino effects. So that's the type of contagion that our uh, model is meant to capture. One of the main results that we get in this, in this paper is sort of a phase transition or a regime change. Basically what that means in our context is that the inter we show that if the, sh the distress or the initial shock to the financial system, if it's very small below a certain threshold, there, then more interconnectivity in the interbank system would lead to more stability. So a more interconnected financial network is more stable at the face of distress. On the other hand, as soon as the size of the distress passes that certain threshold, the interconnectivity of the financial system it starts to act as a propagation mechanism, making the interconnectedness of the network actually the source of the fragility. So the same features that make the, the financial network stable under certain conditions make it, makes it highly fragile under other conditions. So the main implication of our uh, model is that the financial network is, can, play a, can play a potentially important role in the stability of the financial system. In other words, the structure of the financial network is not something that the regulators or policymakers can be agnostic about. They need to collect more comprehensive and detailed data about the structure of the financial network. Now what this means for economists is that we need to come up with more elaborate and realistic models to understand the relationship between the structure of the financial network and the stability of the financial system. So what we do in this paper is that we highlight one specific mechanism, one specific contagion mechanism, and one specific type of financial network. But that doesn't mean that there are no other mechanism, propagation mechanism that would lead to basically systemic risk. So I think the next, next natural step for, uh, for any researcher for going on this direction is to understand the empirical relevance of the results that we, the theoretical results that we highlight. Basically, how important is this mechanism in real world relative to other possible mechanisms in the past crisis and in potentially future crises?